everybody. Today we're going to show you how to paint an easy acrylic painting for beginners. We call this our rainbow rain painting. Each one has its unique qualities. Notice the differences in each picture. Make your painting to fit your unique style preferences. That is what will make this project so much fun. This is a very simple picture. It could be a little bit tricky with the silhouette and the drips, but you'll get the hang of it and it will be much easier. I got a little frustrated when I wasn't sure how to control the drips. And then when Kimberly gave me the pointer on how to do that, it was easy and I just went with the flow. Here's, Here's what, what you're, you're going to need. You're going to need a paint tray or a paper plate. You're going to need some paint brushes. You can use whatever's laying around the house. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Water. Some acrylic paints. I'm using um, folk art or apple barrel. A pencil. You're drawing and your art canvas and, and masking, masking tape. tape. You probably want some paper towels too. The first thing we do is to sketch out the idea that we would like to use for our silhouette. I use the internet to stimulate my imagination by looking up pictures of girls with umbrellas. Make your silhouette to fit your personality and style. Now that you have your sketch drawn out on your paper, we're going to redraw it onto our canvas with your pencil. We set our drawing up where we could see it. And then we sketched it out onto our canvas with our pencils. Watch how Kimberly made her umbrella. It may make it easier for you to draw a half circle and then make the underside like she did and erase the straight line. There, now we are done. Now that we have drawn out our drawings, we are going to use the masking tape and put it over top of our drawing so that when we paint the rain, it's not going to hit the little girl or the umbrella. Now it is time to place the tape onto our canvas wherever we don't want our rainbow rain to go. The tape will keep all the drips from painting that section of the canvas. We want to cut our tape around the top of the umbrella. Pressing the tape to the canvas will allow the pencil outline to stick to the tape so you know where to cut. Then you press the tape back down to the canvas. The brand of our paintbrush is Artist Loft. And I'm using a number eight. I'm using a number five. We're gonna use every color of the rainbow. And with the blues, we're gonna use a light blue and a dark blue since we're doing rain, I figured we could use a little bit more blue. We put a small bit of paint in each section of our paint tray. Be sure to mix each color with plenty of water to make it easy for the paint to drip down the front of your canvas. Alright, I'm going to start with the dark colors first. Now we pick our color and fill our paint brushes with paint. Then randomly place our paint brush at the top of our canvas to let the paint run down the front of our painting. Don't be afraid to add more water to your color if you need to. We used dollar store tape and noticed that the paint got under the tape a little bit at the top of our umbrella. Do not stress if this happens. We will be painting our umbrella black and it will be easy to touch up any mistakes. So you see how some of your drips are coming into the other colors and it's making almost black? <laughs> I sure do. Okay. See how you have three colors coming into one drip? I sure do. Alright, so I have that also. So see how it's going into another color and I change the direction by dripping some and pulling it down in between. Okay. And you just watch your drip and try to keep it on the white. If it gets into another color, it doesn't matter because you have so many colors, it's going to end up getting into it now. 
you're just going to try and help it along into the white. I was very unsure about how my drip colors would turn out, but after following Kimberly's tip, I was pleasantly surprised at how easy it was to fill in the white spots. So hang in there. I promise you that it will be an awesome painting when you are done. Another tip that I would like to share is to lay something on the floor while you are painting. This will protect your floor from any paint that may drip off of your canvas. Now we let it dry! After it was dry, we slowly and carefully peeled the tape off of our canvases. Now it is time to paint our silhouette. Because I wanted a colorful puddle under the feet of my silhouette, I painted that first. I also painted rainbow splashes. And the brushes we're going to be using is number four. And I have number one. And now we're going to use black to paint our little girl. We used our black and white paint to touch up any colors that might have come through our tape. Remember to relax and have fun with it. After our silhouettes were painted, we added a few more colorful splashes, and then we were done. We love how awesome our paintings turned out. We hope that you enjoyed watching us paint our paintings today, and we hope that it inspires you to give it a try too. Go check out our Facebook page and like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye! All right, now that... Whoa. <laughs> Getting a little breezy out. It's because you're a tornado earring. <laughs> Kimberly made a pair of tornado earrings and they made me giggle every time I looked at them. <laughs> 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 this is what we're gonna do. Can you see? <laughs> Try my picture for me. Hey Jared, do you wanna come dry drying it? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> awesome. We got our own dryers. Thanks, fellas. <laughs> I think it's dry. Let's dry. Right in the touch. Not only a picture, but it's a frisbee. <laughs>